So I kind of just broke one of my HDMI cords. Yeah, so I dropped my camera and it was connected to my monitor, which was connected to my Ronin. And then it fell off and then bent like this and like all the little cords fell out. Oh, wow, okay. But I have a bunch of backups because I always order the wrong HDMI cord, so it's fine. But there goes like 20 bucks. Anyways, what is going on, YouTube fam? Today we're gonna be talking about some music video tips to improve and better your music video quality overall when shooting, right after this intro sequence. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is David Lee and I'm here to help you improve your visual content and overall shooting. So today we're going to be talking about music videos and how you could feel better about making them, shooting them, wherever it may be. I've been doing a lot of music videos shooting lately, more than usual, so I'm kind of trying to hit this topic now. So today we're going to be talking about tips to improve your overall shooting and feel better about shooting the video anywhere from planning it to actually using the camera and shooting the shot you want, being a director pretty much. So let's get started. My number one tip to you is to shoot something that you want to shoot. If someone's coming to you and offering you a lot of money, don't shoot it just because of the money, shoot it because you want to shoot it. If it's a song you don't like, don't shoot it. Make sure you listen to the song and what they have to give you before you agree to shoot with them because otherwise you're gonna be shooting something you don't want to shoot you're gonna be editing it and you're not gonna enjoy editing it so it's not gonna turn out to be your best work I find that the best work is found when you enjoy what you're doing hold on my friend recommended me to put Vaseline on for my videos so no oh, and I gotta set this up too okay there we go but yeah do not shoot something that you don't want to shoot because I've done it before and I literally could not edit the video so I had to hire my friend to edit the video I said yo I will give you a hundred bucks to edit this video for me and even with that hundred bucks he was like dude I can't edit this video this song sucks eventually after like a month or two he finally finished it and it was like the worst edit luckily the guys who we gave it to really liked it good for him right <laughs> Make sure to take on jobs that you really enjoy. Don't make the same mistake that I did. We all learn from our mistakes and I'm giving you guys the heads up so you guys don't have to deal with it. Tip number two, go through with the artist and plan out some things that you think you might want to shoot ahead of time or make a list of shots. Ask them, what concept do you want to do? What is your overall message of the song? And come up with your own ideas regardless of what they say because a lot of times when you go on the shoot, nothing goes as planned. I have gone on so many shoots where we plan the one thing or this other thing to shoot we never shoot it We shoot something completely different or we miss more than half of what we plan to shoot make sure to plan out your own list of shots and Get them by yourself without having to tell him or ask because that way you can get more overall of what you want to do. Now this happens to me all the time with artists. I have my own ideas, I have my plan in mind and personally I think that if you have your own plan and you do your own video, the video is going to turn out so much better. Like. 10 times better, 100% better. But most of the time, the rapper comes to you with a like, yeah, we need to do this shot and this shot and this shot and this shot. And then he uses up all your time and you never get to shoot the shots that you want to shoot. And then they, of course, they have their editing plan. When you go home to edit that video that you got none of the shots you want from them, you don't know what to edit. So you edit a all right video and then they don't like it. And then they tell you, yo, can you change this and this and this and this and this? And you think in your head, my, this video would be so much better if you just let me shoot my shots. You know, it happens to a lot of people. So that was tip number three. Remember, plan everything out ahead of time if you can. And I guess that was also a tip number four. Shoot your own shots, shoot your story, shoot your style. And that's another thing with them. Remember to tell them, if you don't like my style, don't ask me to do the video. Because, for example, when I shoot music videos, I don't like shooting with heavy effects. I don't like applying anything that requires me to open After Effects. When people ask me to do After Effects, I pretty much hire someone else to do it. I find one of my friends, I give them 20% of the profits. I actually charge for special effects because I pay my friend to do the effects for me. So I pay that money to my friend to do the video for me and then return it to me with the final product and I give it to the artist. That way I don't ever have to open After Effects because you know I really don't like it. I have some experience in it but I just don't like it. That's kind of what I do when it comes to special effects. If that's not your style, you don't have to do it. Remember that an artist is hiring you because they like your style. If they're trying to tinker with your style then 
you know you don't have to do it don't do it for the money do it because you're gonna make a good video if you don't make a good video then people who are gonna see this are gonna think man this guy doesn't know what he's doing he's bad at his job all because you took on a video that you didn't like man it is really hot in here I got this light and that light and this light I got two computers running it's it's really hot so know as much ahead of time and make sure when you're shooting your video this is tip number five i think five six five make sure that they give you a deposit if you're charging them because a lot of times rappers might run away with the money charge them a deposit i usually do 50 percent of what they owe me and then make them send me the last half before before i send them the final product because if they send it after the final product is sent out or uploaded they could run away with that second half and you just wasted your time it's up to you depends on your price depends on your product if your artist has previous music videos you want to look back at them and see what kind of vibe he usually goes for in his music sorry my mustache is like tickling my lip you want to know what style of music videos that they go for because that way you can get a sense of who they are as an artist what message they're trying to convey because that really plays a huge huge impact on what your video is going to turn out like because you don't want to give off like a sesame street vibe to well i guess wiz khalifa would do that um you don't want to give off a sesame street vibe to like falling in reverse which is a screamo bid or like a like a like a really dark evil undertone to like carrie underwood or anything i don't even know if you guys know who those are some of you might be so young that you don't even know who those are so let's let's find out let's find a modern example um you don't want to give huh this is harder than i thought modern day artists you don't want to give justin bieber a screamo vibe because justin bieber is not a screamo guy so you know that's like complete opposites but yeah okay that i guess that let's go from the less technical to the more technical tips now now we're going to talk about your in camera setting when i shoot music videos i like to shoot in 24 frames per second and if not shooting at 24 frames per second i export my videos at 24 frames per second that way i get a really cinematic looking video because most music videos look extremely awesome at 24 frames per second now don't get me wrong i do shoot at 60 frames per second but that's only if i don't know if I'm gonna be using B-roll and that performance shot, like slowing down the slow motion shots and whatnot, slowing down the performance shots and using like hype clips from them and whatnot. I will shoot in 60 frames per second there and regardless, you can shoot at 60 frames per second the entire video. Some people do and then export at 24 frames per second, but you know, I don't, I don't really do that. I shoot all my slow-mos or all my B-roll at the highest possible frame rate my camera can handle. And I do that because you know b-roll looks awesome in slow motion and that's just my style but you guys can do it however you want personally i think it depends on the song now to all of you with gimbals and stabilizers and whatnot you can use them but make sure it fits the vibe of the song you don't want to use a stabilized video on something that should be a hype song jumping around crazy screaming fast paced you don't want to be using a shaky vibe high energy high momentum movement on a really slow sad song because you know they don't fit together it's gonna be strange it's gonna be weird so you really want to be able to fit the mood with the camera as well not just the lyrics not just the energy around but the music itself with the camera movement it's called the uh 360 shutter rule 180 degree rule whatever you might want to call it however you call it your shutter speed is double your frame rate so if my frame rate was 24 frames per second i would have a 50 shutter speed that gives off a cinematic vibe less fast paced less actiony that you could go for if you're shooting your music video i do that as much as possible or as close as possible sometimes i have to stop my shutter speed down more because my nd filter what is an nd filter what does it do well you see me and now i'm darker so that's what an nd filter does now you know congratulations sometimes it just isn't enough i have my nd filter the highest possible one and it still isn't enough so i have to stop my shutter speed down some more in this case it's fine but if you want to go for that cinematic smooth motion blurred blurry look then you're going to want to be able to stop your shutter speed down to the lowest possible number 
or I guess slowest shutter speed. And shutter speed tip for all of you who are shooting in 60, make sure you have your shutter speed at at least 120 or faster because if you plan to slow down that video, if it's over or I guess under, I don't know, under 120, then it's gonna get really, gonna get really like choppy. And here's an example of that. It doesn't look good. Avoid going below 120 if you're shooting in 60 frames per second. And I say this more than enough, you wanna worry or you know, you wanna take care of everything in the camera as soon as possible so you don't have to do it in post-production. So let's say zooms with the slider or whatnot. But if you don't have a slider, honestly, you could put it on a tripod and then slowly zoom in in post-production. My face could be back here and then slowly start zooming in throughout this whole entire time that I am saying this sentence. And that is something that you could do in post-production, but you know, it's not something that you have to do. And I also did it in this music video right here. This whole thing was shot on a tripod and I slowly caved it in. I slowly moved the frame in by scaling it large. I started it off at a bigger scale, I think like 150. And then I slowly started zooming out across the entire shot. So that is one thing that you can do to, you know, add a post-production effect to your videos you know it really helps it even you can even do the dolly zoom that way make sure you back up your files I have had so many like events where I lost the files you know I couldn't complete the video and so many things went wrong I lost money because of it I things didn't work out so make sure you back up your files don't delete them off your memory card until you back them up or else you know bad things could go wrong and I guess I mean bad things always go wrong because it's bad but make sure to back up your files don't be like me. Get an external hard drive, not a portable hard drive, an external one that plugs into the wall because those are so much sturdier than portables. Portables will be the one you carry around that you go home, put into your external. That's what I do. I already said it before, I want to clarify. When you are shooting your music videos, you want to match the energy of the video. You want to, if it's a slow-mo, you want to keep the movements as steady as possible. Even if you have to use a tripod, a slider, a tabletop, a book, a towel, or anything. Try to keep it slow. You know, just match the energy of the song. If it's high energy, flip your camera, throw it in the air, have someone else catch it and start shooting on it, you know? Go wild with crazy energy and hype up your artist if you have to, you know? Tell them like, yeah, 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 keep it up, keep it up. This is crazy, you're crazy, this is awesome, you know? And then when you're going through the shots, like, yeah, I love this part that you did here. And then if they need to do it again, you know, tell them, you can even record while you're recording. Remember, you don't need audio. So while you're shooting, you can tell them like, yo, get closer to the camera. Yo, can you rap louder so I can hear it in the mic? Can you do this or that? Like, yo, I'm gonna go down real quick. I want you to look down at the camera, all right? Or like, yo, go kick that tree. Go, yo, you see that dog over there? Go punch it in the face. You know, something like that. Just, you know, hype them up a little bit. Give them some direction while you have to because you are the director. So direct the music video. I think that's actually all of the tips I have for you guys right now. I hope you can take this with you. I hope it helps a little bit. I will probably make another video. This video was not planned at all. It came up last minute. I literally came home, decided I need to make a video. I'm gonna make it on music video. I hope I didn't miss anything important. I hope I explained it well because this was done in a really quick time frame and not planned at all. But I will definitely make a second version of this if you guys need it. I probably will because I'm, you know, doing a lot more music videos. Got more coming up. So hopefully i'm gonna have a better video for you guys next time more explanations more everything thanks for watching the video make sure you guys hit that like button hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it share this video because you know i know so many people you need music videos trying to shoot videos music videos and just so many things with music videos now. Leave a comment below, let me know what you guys are interested in learning and i will make an entire video dedicated to your comment maybe and smash that subscribe button guys and i will catch you guys in the next one so everybody have a great tuesday and um good luck on any final exams if anybody is taking exams this week or next week or last week i guess all right guys have a good one